COVID-19, also known as the coronavirus, is an illness caused by a virus that is very contagious. Its symptoms can range from mild to severe and can even result in death. Some of the symptoms are fever, coughing, and shortness of breath. The coronavirus began in Wuhan, China, and quickly started to spread throughout the world. In January of 2020, there was the first confirmed case in the United States, which was from a man from Washington State, which had traveled to Wuhan. Since the first case of the virus to the quick spread throughout the entire country, the norm of people's everyday lives began to change. We had to start staying at home except for basically going to the grocery store. Sports have stopped starting with basketball going to every other sport after, including the 2020 Summer Olympics, which as of right now is postponed until 2021. But what about the students? All students, elementary, high school, and college are taking classes online and doing their work from home. But is there anything worse than that? Yes, the students that worked hard the past four years and will not be able to graduate. I attend Louisiana State University and am one of many students who have worked very hard and paid lots of money in tuition and other fees that will not be able to walk across the stage to get my diploma. LSU is offering the graduating seniors a chance to walk in the August or December ceremonies, but many students will still be unable to walk in those as well. I was accepted into the Disney College program and start August 3rd, so I'll be out of state working and will not be able to come back for either of those ceremonies. Hey, I'm Kinsey. I'm a graduating senior and hearing the news of graduation being canceled was really disappointing due to all the activities that get to go along with graduation, like celebrating with her family and friends and just working so hard for the last four years to graduate was just all very upsetting to hear when it got canceled, but still just trying to stay positive and maybe try to make it to the August ceremony that um, they're trying to come up with for seniors that are graduating. So hopefully that will all work out. <laughs> One way seniors are coping with the situation is taking senior pictures in their caps and gowns. They will hire a professional or even just have a friend take them. They get all dressed up and get to take pictures all over campus. Many of these graduating seniors did not have jobs before the coronavirus and because of the pandemic are continuing to not get jobs. Many companies and organizations are not hiring new employees and are even firing current ones. I'm Nicholas Rathley. I'm Brennan Cooley. Uh, we're supposed to be graduating in May 2020. Yeah, and uh, so coronavirus kind of threw a wrench in our plans, but you know, it's, it's fun. Yeah. Uh, we've definitely increased alcohol intake over the yeah. last uh, month or so. Playing a lot more video games. Um, Schoolwork's been a pain, but it's been kind of dialed back with everything online now. On the plus side, we've gotten really good at darts. Yeah. Uh, uh, ping pong, darts. Looking, to, looking to get on the pro circuit pretty soon. Yeah, they open back up sports. Uh, um, are y'all going to be able to go to the makeup ceremonies? I mean, likely, but I'm not going to go. I don't know why I would go to that. <laughs> Uh, Hopefully by that time I'll have a job and uh, won't be worried about wasting my time in August or December to go walk across the stage. Yeah, definitely, I definitely would not go in December, but uh, depending on what we got going on in August, that could be an option. Yeah. So what will life look like after COVID-19 is over? I don't think anyone really knows the answer to that. No one knows how long it's going to last or how to make it fully disappear. But everyone needs to continue washing their hands and staying inside for the time being. So to everyone, stay healthy and safe, and God bless.